Banana Bunch, Mark here with the Jungle Gyms Podcast, and you know what time it is. It's time for a new episode. So, before we get started, you know this part of the show. This is where I ask you for brand new reviews. Look, I've been asking for almost a year straight now for all kinds of reviews on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or more importantly, maybe you could just be jumping ship from the audio-only version of the show, which I very much appreciate you listening to. But check out the version on YouTube because we do a lot of visual gags on the show, and I think I think you all deserve a little extra spice. And the great news is, if you watch on YouTube, you can actually just listen to it as well if you just prefer the audio only. It's kind of a great setup. That's what I call a twofer. So this week I've got a bunch of fun content. I'm bringing back another musical guest, and and at first after all the Fizz Fest content. I was like, you know what, I don't think I'm going to do more beverages right out the gate. But also, the nature of building a show up in advance means sometimes you have stuff happen and you've got things that you need to do. So, one more week of beverage focus, then I'm back. I've got some cheese stuff coming up soon. I'm really, really looking forward to that. And honestly, to talk FizzFest for a minute, i got to say... Thank you all so much for coming out to FizzFest. It was a huge success. I saw so many people out there doing that, trying new drinks. A lot of you have been reaching out to me. I am so thankful for that. I hope you had fun, and I am really looking forward to whatever we're going to call FizzFest 2. But for now, I guess it's FizzFest 2. Uh, if you want, send me in at podcast at junglegyms.com. Tell me what you would subtitle it. So, like I said, I've got a few different uh, segments for you here today. But first up, and it's because I'm hanging out in beer and wine right now, that I decided to uh, do a little fun project with some friends here from Urban Artifact. They're a local brewery. We carry their stuff here in the store. And they've got a fun Halloween pack coming out for you called the Trick or Treat Hard Seltzer Pack. And I got my hands on it first to try it. So with this segment coming up first, I just want to tell you all, you may, if you're listening to the audio only version, this is a big heads up. It'll make maybe more sense in the visual version. But if you hear any weird bleeps or any stops in it, that's because I am trying to preserve the mystery of the drinks in the packs. So that way I you'll notice that I tried to shoot around so you couldn't tell which flavor was which. And we'll bleep out the audio so that you cannot hear what flavors we tried. And the idea for this is that it's a six pack of mixed drinks. Four of them are treats and are delicious. And two of them are tricks. And honestly, one of the tricks was so bad I can't untaste it and I've been thinking about calling the police all day on Urban Artifact. So check it out. All right, everyone, I've got a fun segment here. Uh, I was talking with my friends at Urban Artifact. They're a cool brewery. We carry their product here at Jungle Gyms. You should definitely try it out. And they're doing this fun thing. They're doing their trick or treat hard seltzer box. It's the 2022 edition cryptids. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Cincinnati's cryptid, the cicada man. Uh, So I'm actually Scott. Well, I'm thinking about it. Why am I not on here? But all kidding aside, they were really cool. Um, We were chatting and they sent me this box. so We could try it out here on the show. So I brought with me a returning favorite, Christian Gill, who you've seen a lot of on the show recently. And you'll see a little bit more of because we got a couple other bits and, you know, follow us on TikTok and all that. Uh, And then, you know, so say hi, Christian, please. Sorry. Hi. Thank you. That's of you, course. you've hit your limit of words for that segment. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's trying to be I've got succinct. the tally going. <laughs> yeah, there's a tally. It's like Christian has to be quiet this yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Like, look, he brought his own milkshake to the party. I, you know, <laughs> it brought all the boys to the yard. The whole thing's a mess. Kellis is texting me right now. She's <laughs> very upset. Uh, she said I ripped her off. Uh, but more importantly, I want to introduce a new person to the show, Victoria, another Jungle Gym employee. Hi, Victoria. Hey. Welcome. So there's, you got the Victoria and Christian cam right there. Uh, f- hey. Wave to everybody. Hey. What do you do here at Jungle Gems? Um, I do a lot of different things. So um, I do, I started out with like property management and now I'm doing a little bit of store operations, a little bit of development, pop, you know, you name it. It needs to be done. Podcasting. Podcasting. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be fun. Well, you have a you yeah. have an interesting job. You're always floating, and I thought this was funny today. I mean, well, we just ran into Christian accidentally, so it was like, well, let's add him in here. But I thought it'd be fun because you and I have joked about doing some of these tastings together. Uh, I know you're a seltzer fan, so I thought that would be a really good time for us to dive in oh, on yeah. this stuff too. So, for I, realistically, what flavor did you get? It's toffee chip. Toffee chip. I got a toffee chocolate chip. milk or white milk. Um, 
Did they even ask? They didn't ask. Oh. I got white milk, malt, and toffee chip. Oh, that sounds am- oh malt. Malt. Yeah. I'm here. Malt yeah. always over shake. I it, love it your just, style. It feels it feels right. It does feel right. It feels right. Well, here's the deal with these treats today, right, everyone? So the trick is this: as they write on the outside of the box, there's six cans in the box. I looked at the wrong camera. There's six cans in the box. Uh, we've got two tricks, four treats, and what will you get? I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna grab. This is the, let's see here. Oh, they, this is so cute. This is the we're going with first. It's got a little, but it's great. On, I won't read you all of this, but on the can, they've got their height, their weight, and their interests. Uh, let's break into this. If you all would be so kind as to pour, pass me your glasses. I also wanted to bring glassware for each of us. I went classic pint glass. You went with wine glass. You went with the fancy beer, Christian. Love your style. So. I'm a very fancy person. I would say for the sake of this game, let's not smell them first. <laughs> Until you try, you know what I mean. Ah, you're no fun. Well, I felt like it could go bad. Wait, wait, you know? are they that's all going to be pitch black? What is going on? I mean, that's maybe. An interesting. Color. I hope so. Some very interesting. Well, you know, color. I'm a little bit terrified. I mean, there could be activated charcoal in here. This kind of has yeah. like a. It's a super elusive color. It's, I love it's it. It's black, but then it's green. Well, I can't smell it. I'm not allowed. Not yet. We'll do that. Take the sip first, then you can smell it. Okay. I just want to get the reactions. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry, I've got short arms. <laughs> I think that's a treat, right? No, I think that's not fun. I think that's a trick. I think that's a trick. I can't tell. I'm like, I, I, that. oh, smelling it. It's a trick. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like. What do you think that is? Drinkable, but. I, it, <laughs> it's incredibly tart. Definitely not the worst thing I've ever tasted, but. I'm glad for that. But on the list? Yeah. Okay. What'll be funny is what if you get through, <laughs> what if you get to the third one? You're like, that's also a trick. I, I sipped it and I was kind of like, it's almost like root beer. It, it, it has the smell of like sarsaparilla. And I think maybe that's yeah. what this one is going for is like a birch beer or sarsaparilla, but like on the bitter, like not drinkable side, the laughable side. The laughable side, the trick side. I, but now the fun part's gonna be when, you know, Urban Artifact calls us and goes, hey, you dorks. <laughs> that was a real flavor. <laughs> and we're like, oh, oh, That's part of the whole game. Part right? of the game. Scott knew what he was getting into when he said this was fine. Also, shout out Keisha, thank you for delivering it for me. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Oh, um, I just crushed mine, yeah, just in you case. Did. you're a champ. And just in case it's delicious. Oh. <laughs> Could you make that noise into the microphone? <laughs> that definitely Maybe on the was next a trick. trick one. That had to have been. I hope they're all tricks. I think that would be hilarious. I was kind of worried that maybe because I had this toffee chip malt. I'm shake, smelling this. That, oh, that it would throw you? That it was going to throw me, but no, you guys were, we were all on the same page. Oh. Ooh, that's a fun one. That fun looks color. fun here. I'll just pass the can so you guys, it's stupid the other way. Which one is that? Is that, uh, what's it say on it? Um... <laughs> can't read. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, I, that is not a cryptid I'm familiar with. I am not either. He's six, six. He weighs a lot and he likes long hikes and parkour. Cool. Parkour, kind of hardcore, guy. parkour, okay. hardcore, parkour. Interesting. I cheated and I did smell it a little bit, but I mean, I think this is so much fun. I feel like more. Oh, oh, never mind. For a split second as I like barely read it, I was like, oh, man, bear pig. <laughs> I've been <gory. laughs> The and he's an Amazon 1930s cryptid. I'm into it. This is kind of cool, just because like one of the podcasts that I've been listening to a lot lately, um, Old Gods of Appalachia. You make that fancy I'm just face being at silly. Me. Yeah, it's like uh, you're not <laughs> listening to the show that you're on. No one, one of them. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> drink one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I think this is this is like a tart orange. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It's almost like an orange soda seltzer. Yeah, like an orange cream. Yeah, yeah I get that. That's a treat. I like that. It's a treat. Yeah, that's Not good. Bad. I love the color too. The hit was a no. 1735, New Jersey. She gave birth to a hooved, bat-winged creature. Oh, the yes. Ooh. Named okay. after me. I am the, oh, weight is two to 300 gabagools. <laughs> gabagools. We gotta all do the hand <laughs> together. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep cheating on the smell. I'm going for I'm going for a color on this one. That's no, it's also orange. Okay, but it's softer orange. It's like like, red. Yeah, it's like it's like a in between. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not gonna be mad about it at this point. I keep cheating too. It's sometimes hard to tell because like the way they brew, they're using all these like. 
I'm going to speak incorrectly on it, so I probably just shouldn't. But the way it's brewed, there's often some similar scents but across some okay. of their beers anyway from the, I'm assuming, whatever cultures they use to make it sour. Brett, come on the show sometime and t- explain this to me so I don't sound like an idiot. It smells like bubble gum. I think that I think that's the flavor. Is that the flavor? It's like sour yeah. bubble gum. <laughs> A little funky gum. So the first one, now that I've tried like treats for real, the first one is a trick. You know, what I like about Urban Artifacts is I always feel like they are the, uh, at least in the local space, I feel like they're always uh, for the advanced palate. You know what I mean? Because they're like, their flavors are simply complex as well, to use one of your expressions. But they are, they they do that good thing where they've got like, you know, there's a lot of flavors happening here. And again, if you're comparing this to something like uh, White Claw, which has like a very artificial taste, you'll notice it's a little more real, a little more funk to it, a little funkatorium. We want the Not tasting like some TV static next to a glass of lemonade. (laughs) Right. And that's got some sour bubble yum going on. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, I think you're right. All right. And now we have to sing the devil in Jersey City. That's exactly. Yeah. Jersey. (laughs) (laughs) Let's crack open the next one. What do you got there, Christian? I've got the. Ooh. It's actually pronounced. Goatman. He's a family of lawyers out of New York. (laughs) 1980s Kentucky. It's hypnotic croon kept them frozen on the tracks. I'm sorry. It's hypnotic crone kept him frozen on tracks. Goatman. Thank you. You have to say it in the proper accent. There it is. He's an eight foot tall. 310 pounds, or as I like to say, five tobaccos. And his interest be carpentry, karaoke, and being the I'm Because he's the Ooh, the, Let's get that. Let's crack get that it crack. open, baby. Kobe. Ooh, Ooh, that was a good sound. That Chris. That's why we keep the thing on it. Oh. Okay. All right. Might be a trick. Uh, we'll find out. Let's get this pour on. All right. We're getting. That's paler. I like that. It's like, yeah, it's like paling out, as it's, it were. Kind of like if you lined up you, me, and Victoria. <laughs> We're going to pale it out. <laughs> I don't want to smell this one since you guys made funny faces. Uh, oh, I still haven't smelled no, it. No, it's, it's... Just giving it a little... It's either candy corn... Which, that it is a trick, like even caramel-y. if it's intended it to be a treat. or like Oh, caramel-y. it does it's, smell really good. It's, it's almost like, like when you get, you know when you drive by the Flavor Factor N75 yes, and you get like the that. good night? You get and the you're good like, night mm, and cup good. yours? Yeah, it's like some nights it's this, and some nights it's like, oh, I didn't know they made butterscotch hot dogs that were burnt. <laughs> <laughs> it says the butterscotch. It definitely. smells good. Yeah, I think that's caramel. Yeah. Or... Stay with me. Yeah. Kettle corn. Okay, I could see that. Like, yeah, it, and we're, I keep thinking, stick it in the Halloween. Yeah, like butterscotchy, yeah. like kettle corn. Like, I'm getting maybe a little bit of candy corn, but more butterscotch. I would. I, this is my favorite so far. Same. I want this in the regular urban rotation. And then imagine the variants you could do with this, like a caramel vanilla sour like this. Add a little chocolate. And don't they kettle sour? Sa- Ooh. What are you thinking? Use your use your food tasting skills. Like I'm also getting like praline, yeah, I like can a see that. like a pretzel praline. It's it's I don't know. There's definitely the butterscotches there. There's a lot going on in that There's last one. I'm here yeah. for it. All right, what do we got next? Now the cans are random, right? Like so, you'll never get the same ones. That's my understanding. So if that's wrong, I'll run a subtitle here that says I was wrong. Gotcha. <laughs> I just Did smelled say, a closed oh can. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There's no smoke in this they, room. We haven't been blazing. But yeah, I know, right? A closed oh can. my gosh. Mm, well, that's the, I have a bag of uh, trick or treat edibles where some is. of them work, and then ooh, this one's got a little funk on it from the distance. Oh, um, this one's oh, already. Oh, what I, color is it? Green. That's the a color, fun green. The color is all yellow. Yeah, shout five out to Urban and Artifact blue. for the fun colors. This is awesome. 1955 Ohio, noticing the salesmen, they waved their wand. Of salesmen. He is four foot two. His weight is six six hundred eighty thousand tadpoles. Interests are roller skating and spirituality. Oh, I hate that one a lot. That was definitely a trick. I'm thinking the green ones are all tricks. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, that smells. Just (laughs) here's my recommendation. Smells like onions. Take the entire thing at once, because I don't have anywhere to pour it out. <laughs> I got What's my, with um, you? I got my my milkshake. Uh, I almost want to sip it after that. It's pretty bad. I mean, it is a it is room. a successful trick for sure. I might cut. It's that. <laughs> ah! 
All right. This is a horrible idea. Oh my gosh. We'll take, I'm, take we're almost to the last one, folks. That's disgusting. Oh, that was a trick. It's egg, right? It's onion. It's is it onion? onion? It tastes like durian almost. It's like the way durian has that like sweaty sock moldy onion smell. It's a little it's spicy on the like, back end. Like spoiled egg salad. I definitely get rotten egg for sure. Okay, we're on to the final one here. I think we've hit our two. I think this one's a treat, folks. I think since we feel really good about this, yeah. The Three foot, one inches, 40 to 80 pounds. It's into keto and psychedelics. Just like a lot of my friends. <laughs> you wanna, you, you wanna. Yeah, let me have the, the can. can. I just wanna put that last splash in there. I'd like to forget I ever drank that. I mean, by the way, I say that, and that's part of the fun. You know, it's like when we did Bean, bean Boozled. You're like, oh, yeah. this is terrible, but also kind of fun. All right. This so one smells good. Around the. Okay. My stomach is only halfway upside down. Ooh. It smells sweet. Promising. It smells. Uh, it smells kind of like lifesaver gummies. I'm getting I would. That. I would almost guess. Well, I'll let you guys try it first. But there's definitely a bunch of flavors happening here, and I'm into it. Yeah, I like that one a lot. This is like candy. This is. A, this I is, think yeah. that and the caramel butterscotch one. Those are my two favorites for sure. Oh, definitely. Like without a question, those are good. What do you think of that last one, Victoria? It's really good. It's yeah. kind of like fruity, a little citrusy, a little. Little hop, little something, got a little. Yeah, it's got a little. Mm, we love it. Well, that was super fun. It reminds me of the way uh, Jolly Rancher wrapper smells. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can get into that. Let me smell it. Well, now I have like eight flavors in the can. I'm like, say you caramel. Have egg, you have egg in there. You're yeah. like, mm, <laughs> caramel eggs. Caramel <laughs> eggs. I tell not me a would, Cadbury. Tell me you wouldn't try it. I would. <laughs> All right. So I'm thinking, what are our favorite? I'm voting the butterscotchy caramel one is probably. Yeah. Excuse me, my favorite. Yep. I agree. Uh, second favorite is Jolly uh, what Rancher was the last rapper. one we just tried? Yeah, Jolly yeah. Rancher wrapper. Yep. Yeah. It almost is like fruit punch. Oh. Yeah. I'm into that. All right. So, Urban, I would say let's put those two in the regular rotation. And if you all are out there, have fun with your friends. Get a six pack of this. It's coming into Jungle Gyms here shortly after August 15th. Um, it'll be in the store, so you can come pick it up from us. Of course, you can get it from Urban Artifact too. But, you know, right now, Urban Artifact doesn't have one of me. So, uh, <laughs> all kidding aside, thank you, Urban, for this. I can't wait. Everybody tag me in your um, in your trials of this because I want to see your reaction faces when you try. Yeah. Whichever one is funky. I also, love it. The best way to play this game with your friends is not to have glasses. Like, don't have glassware or plastic cups or anything. Just crack open a can and go for it. You're basically playing like can roulette. Oh, yeah, so that'd be awesome. It'll be a lot more fun that way. That's a very pro monkey pox and COVID way to get it. And that's what I'm into. Or everyone just gets one can, <laughs> and that's just how it is. No, see, the trick, Christian, is we all buy a six pack for each person. We all buy a I'm six pack. I'm driving sales for, for both us and Urban Artifact. Victoria, thank you so much for coming down and trying this, too. That was a lot of fun. Thanks. This was fun. Uh, it's really crazy that both of you have beaten Bobby Flay recently. Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. It's, it's on yeah. the regular. Yeah. Oh, she's on the regular. God. Yeah, exactly. You're, You're just, just a one-off. One yeah. <laughs> like, ridiculous. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Of course. So I kept promising myself before, like I mentioned earlier, that I wasn't going to do a lot of non-alcoholic coverage since we've been doing so much on FizzFest. But I had a cool opportunity. One of my favorite finds at FizzFest was this brand, Lemon Perfect. Uh, and I know we sampled it on the show, but I dove in deep. And I got to meet the CEO of the company. And he is a big old crazy person like me too. He's got a lot of energy. He's really exciting. And I just think this is a cool product. And honestly, that's sort of the fun of the show, right? Is I get to tell you all about fun stuff. That to me is, uh, you know, I know I say things like this often, but that's like one of the cool things about Jungle Gyms is that we're always finding new stuff before anybody else is and then telling you about it so that then you can go online and get internet clout for going, I tried this new product, Lemon Perfect, and it's so good. So I want you to meet Yanni. He is a great time. This is a really fun interview. And if you get the chance, come into Jungle Gyms and try Lemon Perfect. My favorite is the Just Lemon flavor, but all of the flavors are really good too. So take it away. Well, we're talking Lemon Perfect today. Uh, Yanni, why don't, you, why don't you introduce yourself and the brand? Mark, thanks so much for having me. Really excited to be here and and uh, and be such a, a, a part of, of the Jungle Gyms enthusiasm i love it it's yeah. awesome uh it's just listen I, I you came on this 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 podcast here this this and i'm like my goodness i 
the energy on overload here, Mark. I, I love it. And, and certainly apropos uh, to the feeling inside a jungle gyms. But uh, we're thrilled to be here. Um, lemon Perfect is a, a hydrating lemon water, um, full of flavor, zero sugar, delicious and refreshing. Uh, we're on a mission to change the way that people drink water. I love that. Well, uh, I'm on board for the mission. You're one of the products that I discovered recently uh, through some of our FizzFest promo. So uh, this is where I also give a shout out to Nick Hughes here in the store who brought the product in and made me aware of it. So it's been, I, I seriously love the line. And it's that thing. I went to a dinner party the other night and everyone was like, is there any, you know, I'm doing the usual. It's like, is there anything you need? They're like, hey, if you have anything that you really like to drink. So I actually brought a bunch of lemon water to it and I turned on a whole new group of people too. So it's been really exciting for me to find stuff I love, you know? I love that. And and big shout out, Nick Hughes. We're so appreciative. Um, you know, it, it's we're 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 still a young brand, right? I mean, we sold our first bottle um just over two years ago, right? And so when you have uh uh significant retailers that take a chance early, right? Try the product. Uh, believe in the taste profile, sure. uh, hold the bottle in, in their hands and believe in the packaging, right? Uh, yeah. Like our pricing architecture, um, right? It, I mean, Lemon Perfect is, is, is you know, attractive uh, for multiple consumption, right? Purchasing multiple bottles because of our price point, right? Less than $2 on the shelf, non-promoted, um, you know, and, and but, but you got it. You, you really have to applaud uh, uh, buyers like Nick that have the, the foresight, uh, into, re you know, relevant consumer trends, uh, mm -hmm. and what's going to be attractive to their shoppers and, 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 and he's, you know, best in class. So we're really appreciative. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I don't want to blow his ego up too much here. So <laughs> no, I'll get a good side. No, I'm very appreciative. It's really cool. One of my favorite things about jungle gyms is just that we have so many passionate people like that, that are always trying to be on the, you know, I say we're on the front lines of food. So it's really nice to meet everybody else in the front lines like this. So, you know, you said you're a newer brand. Tell me, like, what was the inception of Lemon Perfect? So I coached college basketball for 10 years. And, and, and the short story is um, uh, I was on a recruiting trip and I, you know, I, I walked into a, a, a sports supplement store to get a couple of protein bars. It was a double header. And uh, the man working behind the register saw my, I was at Nevada at the time and he saw my Nevada basketball polo. He said, do you work for the team? I said, yes, I'm an assistant coach uh, with the men's basketball team. He said, my God, my dream is to be a strength and conditioning coach for an NBA basketball team. I said, wow, like, here's my card. If I can ever be helpful, let me know. Right. And, 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 and his name was Matt. And, and uh, a month later, he sent me an email. He said, he said, can I send you a draft of a book that I'm writing on the ketogenic diet? And this was this was late 2016. So really before keto was in the mainstream psychology, the American consumer. And, sure. and, and in the back of Matt's book were all these sample meal plans. And every day started by drinking organic lemon water. And I was searching a little bit at the time. I said, Matt, I'm in A through Z. Let's do it, right? There was a diet plan. There was a strength training plan, a cardio plan. And, and uh, lemon water in the morning became a non-negotiable part of my routine, my daily routine, but a painful one right? Buy an organic lemon, cut the lemon, squeeze the lemon, juice all over, bland taste. I mean, most mornings, Mark, I threw my hands up in the air. I'm like, oh, you know, and, and, yeah. and I stuck with it because I felt great. Right. And I'm in the locker room towards the end of the season and all of our coaches and, and, and players are drinking by, uh, which I'm sure many of your, of your listeners are familiar with. Sure. And, um, at the time, uh, you know, super innovative product in the enhanced water category, and I just, I had a, 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 a light bulb moment. I said, hold on, can we take organic lemon water and give it the flavor profile of buy? And that seed has been the bedrock of our brand really from day one. Um, and, you know, fast forward, what that, that was, you know, a little over four years ago now, um, you know, now I think there's some real concern at, at uh, uh, KDP headquarters. They bought, they just since bought buy uh, that here comes lemon perfect. And, and the truth is, is that, you know, if, if you think about our category, um, you know, you had vitamin water first, right? Full of flavor, uh, uh, full of sugar. And then you have buy come and, you know, it's full of flavor with one gram of sugar. Uh, and now here comes lemon perfect, you know, full of flavor, zero sugar, 
uh, but also, you know, with a, a super fruit ingredient uh, like the organic lemon uh, that drives so much of the functional uh, benefits that we have inside of our product. That's beautiful. And what a beautiful story, too. Uh, what are some of those benefits that uh, that, you know, drinking lemon water? I, I love that that became part of your routine. So, the, yeah, what were some of the health benefits that you get out of this? Well, first and foremost, and number one is hydration is the is the bedrock of good health, right? Like, you know, I mean, it, it, it's it's 70 percent plus of America is chronically dehydrated. Why? Drinking water is boring. So right? It's hard to drink water, right? Yeah. Um, you know, coffee is, is uh, dehydrating, right? And mm -hmm. as is most energy. And so we've aided the American consumer in their hydration journey by delivering flavor to the category, right? In a new and innovative and exciting way. Um, so let's just, you know, Lemon Perfect, the product helps meet hydration goals, right? Uh, so that's really important. Um, we we like to start the top of the funnel from a, a, a functional benefit um, hierarchy, if you will. So we talk about vitamin C, mm -hmm. right? Every bottle of Lemon Perfect has 100% daily value vitamin C, right? Um, from our organic lemons that are squeezed into every bottle. And then we also fortify with additional vitamin C. Uh, we have potassium, um, you know, packed electrolytes. Um, and... Um, you know, and, and, and so we like to start with vitamin C and then potassium, right, which are familiar points of functionality. But you have so many more benefits of 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 lemons, right, whether it's digestive support, right. Um, you know, it's 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 you have uh, great immune boosting benefits from uh, from from lemons. Um, you know, you have uh, you have cancer fighting um, you know, citrus bioflavonoids as you continue to kind of go down that, you know, that, that journey of, of, of function, you know, from, from lemon perfect, but the, the benefits are, are endless. Um, any Google search of benefits of lemon water will yield pages and pages and pages of reasons why you should drink lemon water. We've just found a way to make it flavorful and really delicious and refreshing. <laughs> I love it. And I am very appreciative of that too. You know, look, it was one of those things when I first saw it, I was like, all right, I'm going to try this, but I wasn't sure what to expect. You see lemon and water. I was like, it's going to be really tart. Is it? And then I busted into my first bottle. I went classic. I always go classic first. And I, you know, to me, I, I immediately, I think the way I described it to my friend, I was like, oh, this is what I want lemonade to taste like. Mm. Like, you know, you get a strong, potent, real, real lemon flavor. It's, yep. There's a, a little bit of sweetness, but not cloyingly so. And then at that point, I was hooked. So I was like, all right, I got to try the whole product line. That's awesome. And that's what we see, Mark, right? When we drive trial, the consumer comes back. The consumer comes back in a big way. I mean, Mark, there's nothing like it. Right? You're, talking about, you're talking about an enhanced water set that was in dire need of innovation, right? I mean, not to call out the competitors, but like, you know, they're just there. It, it, it has been a stale category really since what buy was able to do. And that's we're coming up on 10 years. Right. And so we're really excited about delivering real innovation to a stale category. Right. And getting consumers to be excited about water really for the first time. I mean, for those of you that have not drank the product that are listening in here, like it drinks like a water. It doesn't drink like lemonade, Mark. I think you would probably agree, right? And and so we- Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, water first, but it, just in the flavor end. It's, it is, but you have a, a, a really crisp, refreshing, you know, taste profile. It's, it's, it's crushable and craveable and it makes you coming back. And, 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 and so we're just excited that we can deliver, um, you know, a, a, a real refresher to the marketplace. That's also good for you without any of the, you know, the junk and, and, um, you know, and, and, and really disrupt, like I said, uh, a stale category, um, and, and help meet hydration goals. But, but yeah, it, it's, it's to your point, when you try the product, um, we see unbelievable conversion. Um, and we're very, very proud of it. Right. Because here's the thing, right. When you drink a bottle of woman perfect, you're making a decision that's better for you. Think about that. Yeah. Like for us, we can build a great business, right. Um, uh, we can help jungle gym sell a lot of cases, right? So we can help, you know, the, the business of jungle gyms.
But Lemon Perfect and Jungle Gyms together are helping make. Well, let's start with 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 your consumers a healthier a healthier person. And and so we're you know we're making. We're, I know every I know people come from all over the world to shop Jungle Gyms, but let's just say <laughs> Southwest Ohio. We can we can make Southwest Ohio a healthier place because so much of the dis, the dislocation of the health of the American consumer does not come from what you eat; it comes from what you drink. And so, like, let let let's not drink our calories, right? Like, right. make like let let's let's sit down. We can eat our calories, but let's not drink our calories, right? And so, how cool is it that that we Lemon Perfect, you Jungle Gyms, get to really impact the health of the consumer in Southwest Ohio, and we actually be able to deliver GP to our businesses at the same time? That's magical. You just don't see that very often. Right. And then like you just don't see that very often. That's amazing. I, I'm sitting here. I'm taking it back. First off, I love your energy so much. It gets me excited about it too. The whole time I'm like, all right, I'm going over to my fridge. I'm stocking back up. I, I think it's wonderful. Yeah. Let's, let's hydrate and health up, uh, you know, the greater Cincinnati area. I'm into this. Let, let's do it. Right. I mean, we're, we're, um, we're really excited, right? Like we, we're, we're really excited about what we're building. I mean, Mark, how could I not wake up and have great energy? Think yeah, about good it. Point. You, get to, you get to go through the journey of life one time. One time. I'm somehow, some way, fortunate enough that we get to go build a product like this, to go to go build awareness for a product like this. Right. I mean, we have 72 people at the at the company today. Lemon Perfect is a trampoline of growth for all of our people. I want our people to bounce higher every day, every week, every month, every year. Right. Like, how cool is that? Build a great business, be a trampoline for your people. Right. And then help help America become a healthier place. I mean, this is like you get the trifecta. Right. And, and you just you just don't find that in 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 commerce, you know, often in business often. And so um, I wake up energized every morning because, you know, I, I'm excited about what we can build. I also have great burden. Right. I have great burden because. Because, you know, we get one shot at this, right? You yeah. get one shot at this. And if you don't get the buy-in, and fortunately we are, but but you need, you know, you, you, you need the Knicks of the world. You need the jungle gyms of the world to be leaders, to, you know, in helping build the brand. Um, and, uh, and, and, and again, we're very fortunate. Um, that we're seeing that buy-in uh, and giving us an opportunity to go scale a great a great brand. Yeah, and I love it, and I'm very glad you're here. It's been a it's been a nice addition to my daily drinking routine. So i I'm glad, and it's nice to know that there are altruistic like meth or you know feelings behind this whole thing too. And it's like, yeah, we can all eat from this. I love it. I think you're doing great. And and, and with you doing so much innovation, of course, I gotta ask. Are there any upcoming innovations or maybe some new flavors or anything like that we can kind of tease at the audience? Mark, my, I, I go to sleep every night with like a list of all the flavor pairings that that work, you know, like all the, all the fruit flavor pairings. I literally, I mean, I can't tell you. I mean, a lot of nights I go to sleep with my iPad with like a list of all the flavor pairings out there. We're really excited about our flavor innovation. Um, we have you know, vessel size innovation. We have uh, pack architecture innovation on the way. Like, you know, we, we, we eventually we'll have multi packs um, available for your, you know, for your consumers. Cool. Um, and, um, you know, look, we're, we're going to be really focused on the core product. Um, I, I, I really believe in what we're building. Um, you know, we, we don't, you know, we don't uh, foresee any product innovation beyond what I just talked about. Um, we, we, we love uh, the new flavors that are on the way, uh, love, and, um, and, uh, and couldn't be more excited to deliver those to, uh, to Jungle Gyms in, ju- in due time. Well, I'm looking forward to it too, because that means I'll get my hands on it probably before everyone else. <laughs> I, listen, I'll say it right here. I would love for you guys to be first. So anytime we come out, let, let's, let's try to put it you know, in jungle gyms first and I, I, let's paint your walls yellow. Right. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if jungle will let us do that, but, but we can certainly ask. And uh, we can so. <laughs> listen, judging by, listen, judging by your background and your, your jacket and, 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 and his enthusiasm, you know, maybe we can go in there with, with, with big, you know, brushes and start painting the floors yellow, but 
but we're we're just excited to grow and build uh underneath your your two roofs well we're more than happy to have you here yanni thank you so much for your time today I, this was great and i uh well i'm looking forward to a future collab between the two of us there's too much energy in this room for us to not do that that's probably why they didn't send me to atlanta for this <laughs> well listen more and 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 next time i'd love to be out there with you my travel calendar got got uh very compressed here uh here in in, in the beginning of august but but look i i i owe you a trip i love i love the store uh, I mean, really just like super cool, uh, unlike anything else that I've seen. Um, and, 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 you know, I, I, I mean, I'm in, I'm in retail environments every day. Right. Um, but, uh, but thank you for, for your enthusiasm. I mean, this is awesome. Uh, we're so grateful for the relationship, um, that we have with jungle gyms and, and the ability to serve, uh, you know, Southwest Ohio and the greater Cincinnati area is a real honor for me um and uh looking forward to continuing to build the brand with 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 you it's gonna be a good time looking forward to bring that good energy <laughs> let's do it mark i can't wait i can't wait another great segment huh it's a ton of fun as always well now i'm over here by the tasting bar which is still in beer and wine in case you couldn't tell because this friday we're doing another fun event with mad tree brewery they're coming in with some new stuff a couple of fall forward favorites that was hard to say um and you might be able to try some things like their pumpkin look i get it some of you get very upset when holidays get celebrated early, but I am a pro celebrate everything all the time kind of a person. So you know what? If you want pumpkin beer in July, well, it's August now, so too late, but you can have it here at Jungle Gyms. So uh, without further ado, let's meet Sam from Mandarin, see what they're cooking up for us. And hopefully some of you will join us here on Friday to try some of their products. Welcome back to the booth, Ferd. What's up, Ferd? How you doing? I'm beautiful. I'm always beautiful. Look at me. Uh, I can tell. <laughs> I'm uh, the most venomous looking employee in the building. Uh, but more importantly, I would say than you and I is bringing in Sam from Mantry. What's going on, Sam? Um, I'm going to drink to that. I'm some beers. I'm lifting one That's to life. I Let's just cheers. I just came here for a beer. Sounds what's good. Going on, boys? All right, everybody. We'll see you in about 15 minutes. Sam, what's going on? Tell me about what's going on at Mantry right now. What do we got going on? I see we brought some of the uh, Sway Vodka Soda. Yeah, so we uh, we recently have delved into the RTD world. For those unaware what an RTD, RTD is, it's a ready-to-drink cocktail. Oh. Um, we have uh, launched with our grapefruit ginger and our strawberry guava flavors. Uh, we do have two more flavors coming out real soon. Uh, the blackberry hibiscus and the raspberry lemon. Uh, blackberry hibiscus will be in a four pack, just like the strawberry guava and grapefruit ginger. Uh, we will have a mix pack available as well with all four flavors. Uh, there will be a mix pack exclusive flavor, raspberry lemon. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. I actually got to try it for the first time today, and it oh, is cool. absolutely delicious. Do you have a favorite in the lineup right now? Um, so. I'm boring, apparently. That's okay. I love the grapefruit ginger. It's okay. light. It's super easy drinking. So <clears throat> that, what? That the, doesn't even sound like the boring one. That sounds like the hard one, actually. No, so, no the, great, well, so the great thing about it is it's, uh, we use uh, natural fruit extracts uh, to flavor these. We don't use any artificial flavors, any artificial sweeteners. We don't even use sugar in there. Uh, so they are basically, the way I like to describe them, it's like drinking LaCroix, but it's 4.5% ABV. Cool. Uh, they are... They're carbonated, so they're great out of the can, uh, but they're not aggressively carbonated like your White Claws and your High Noons. So I've, I've actually had a lot of people try them, and they, they enjoy them a lot more because they don't upset their stomachs. Mm. Uh, they're, like I said, great out of the can, but if you pour them over ice on a sunny patio, they are downright dangerous. Um, I have, I've spent many a day on my back patio just swaying the day away, as we like to say. I love that. <laughs> Ferd, when are we going to get a patio here that you and I can crack beers open? I've been screaming for it for you. <laughs> but yeah, in addition, in addition to uh, the new flavors... Um, we do have uh, some new seasonals coming out as well. Okay. Um, obviously, it is, and everybody hates to hear it when it's this warm out, but it's pumpkin and Oktoberfest time. Uh, so next week, actually this week, we're going to have Ziegler and Pumpkin in store. Uh, you can get six packs, uh, respectively. Ziegler is ten ninety nine, and the Pumpkin will be eleven ninety nine. So talk to me a little bit about those two flavors. Or Ferd, if you want to jump in too, I know you're an expert. Oh. <clears throat> Since you're bringing them in, baby. <laughs> right. The uh, pump can is the first time back in cans in how long? Um, we actually did a small drop of the last year. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I it, forgot about that. Yeah, it was only a, got a little bit. You only it was gave a, me like three or four cases. Oh, it was more. Come on. <laughs> uh, but no, it was, uh, it was a little bit of a smaller drop last year. Um, so the great pump can, as its full name is, but everybody just calls it pump can, um, eight and a half percent. Um, it is basically an imperial pumpkin ale. We use cinnamon in there. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. Um, Look at this guy. Saving me. Probably cloves. Saving right? me. Is clove no, we, showing up no, at the party? No, no, no it's cinnamon, nutmeg, um, 
Uh, like I said, eight and a half percent. It is for pumpkin drinkers, and un- I I would love to sit here and fake being a pumpkin drinker. I will not lie to you people. I don't know which cameras are on. There's that, that's okay. the Sam cam. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm not a pumpkin drinker, but it is good. It is literally one of the best. Um, I honestly recommend it if you're going to have it at home or even at a bar. You can ask them to do a cinnamon sugar rim on a snifter with it. Oh. It is, and again, so I've been told, I should say, my girlfriend absolutely <laughs> loves it with a cinnamon sugar rim on there. Uh, so I recommend people try that. If anybody uh, enjoys uh, the the sweeter higher octane beers yeah. it's an awesome pumpkin beer honestly it's seasonal it's fun we can get into it right absolutely <laughs> so you serve Fred it a little man. warm you put a one of those fireball shots things in it oh okay put a little whipped cream on top i've never drank one but i've made them for people and they absolutely loved them okay so i've never tried it like that. yeah that sounds good it sounds I mean, like a lot of work but at the same time well, it's no but you're upping your game on a pumpkin pie I'm Unless. here for it. No, yeah, I'd, I'd at least try it. I'm, actually, so I always tell people, I'm good for one a year. I'm good for one pumpkin beer a year and one piece of pumpkin pie. I usually try to make it all happen right around Thanksgiving. Yeah. But if I can wheel my pumpkin pie into my pumpkin beer, mm. I mean, that sounds... I mean, like, you just like make it a Bloody Mary at that point. <laughs> I mean, use pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pumpkin sure. roll... A little slice of pumpkin as yeah. your garnish, you know? Hey, I'm I'll good. put it on a skewer and stick it on the edge. I'm good, I'm good for one a year. It sounds good. I'm, I'm into it. That's awesome. Uh, talk to me about the Ziegler, too. That, so, is that- Ziegler, um, actually, this year, uh, we just won a gold medal at the World, uh, world Beer Cup. I almost said the wrong thing. Uh, uh, we won at the a- actual <laughs> World Cup. Wow. We no. beat at all these soccer teams. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, almost, I almost said Great American Beer Fest, and I'm like, no, it was bigger than that. Uh, no, but it's the World Beer Cup. We won a, uh, we actually won a gold medal for Ziegler. We won a silver medal at the same uh, event for our legendary logger. Uh, Congratulations. So, yeah, it was a great year. And uh, honestly, I just like to talk about this stuff. We really should congratulate the brewers. Uh, they, they, they make the magic happen. But, uh, yeah, we, we won a couple medals this year. Uh, Ziegler. Uh, it's always been a popular Oktoberfest we do. It's basically just a, an Oktoberfest amber lager, uh, ten ninety nine for the six-pack. Um, one of my absolute favorite seasonals we do. Uh, generally, you know, all year, especially during the summer, you're drinking hazy IPAs. You know, sure. it's, it's hop, 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 hop. Right. And it, I really feel like October, or, uh, Ziegler really helps ease you into the darker beers that start rolling out, you know, the uh, beginning of the, the cold months. Yeah. Um, and honestly, Oktoberfest beers drink good on cold days too. So um, it's a perfect transition beer for this time of year. That sounds um, good. Oh, it's absolutely phenomenal. You guys actually got me hyped now for September happening. I'm kind of like, <laughs> I was like, look, I heard whipped cream and beer. I'm not sure if I'm into it, yeah, but so, I'm going to be. So now, again, talking about it now sounds great. But when I was bringing this stuff up in July to a lot of uh, accounts, they were just like, don't you wish my summer away. I'm yeah. like, you know what? I'm going to stop saying the word pumpkin for a few weeks because I want to start making enemies. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to the show, enemy of the show, Sam. <laughs> That'd be amazing. No, I'm, I'm really curious. I haven't tried the Ziegler before. Do you have thoughts on it, Ferd? It's a great um, Oktoberfest, real, like, um, I don't want to use the word light, but uh, crisp, toasty. Um, Get some of those ready. malty vibes. Yes. Oh, 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 absolutely. It's, it's, it's a malt bomb. And Solid the right malt way. backbone on it. It so, is. It's, it's what you're looking for in an Oktoberfest lager. It's, I can't, I'm honestly a little disappointed in myself for not trying. But you might be able to think it did if you okay. weren't told what it was. Hmm. So, That's cool. It's good I mean, stuff. a lot of your older um, German drinking beer fans that like kind of stick their nose up at uh, a lot of craft beer really, really, really do digs a Ziegler. When I see them in there and buying it, and I'm like... And they're like, don't tell anybody. Yeah, they're like, let me have this one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just my sixer. Absolutely. No, it's one, like I said, absolutely one of my favorite uh, seasonals that we do. I mean, I have several, but, you know, his, there's ones his, I like and there's ones I dislike. favorite seasonal is the current seasonal. <laughs> what as, is the current seasonal? Are we drinking? Is that what we're drinking right now? No. no. Today's I'm tropical sorry. psychopathy, right? So this is, yeah, this is tropical psychopathy. This is... Uh, a new release that we did a couple months ago. Uh, it is everybody's absolute favorite base beer, Psychopathy, front to back. Uh, but we add passion fruit, orange, and guava to it. Uh, so it's still 6.9% ABV. Uh, still has a little bit of that West Coast bite to it. But sure. uh, for those that don't like the, the more aggressive, regular Psychopathy, this does get softened a little bit by the passion fruit, orange, and guava. It's really refreshing. It's like, you know, I kind of like moved out of some of my hoppy vibes on a personal level. But I kind of love that. Uh, and for, thanks for this. I, like everybody that's been bringing stuff around has been really helping like ease me back right back in. And I, I always go in waves, man. Like uh, I, you know, I'll be on a hot train for months and then all of a sudden I drink an Oktoberfest and the next thing I know I'm on Ambers and right. Loggers. Everything's and, Mars and style. Oh, I mean, now. last night I was drinking Legendary Lager and Oktoberfest all night and I was just like, man, like 
It's about that time of year. Like I'm liking it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, cool again, I've, I've also, I'm pretty sure I drank at least a whole keg worth of beer recently, and it was all IPA. So you tapped you know, out for now. Yeah, right? you know, I'll, that's okay. I'll come back around. I'll come back around. Yeah, it's still good stuff. <laughs> it's just like that's the name name of the game of taste. I bet that you get to have a lot of fun in your line of work. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, being a uh, supplier rep is uh, not the worst job in the world. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of driving around. It's a lot of talking. Um, but again, I'm a talkative, fidgety person who can't really hold still. So I fit, so, this, I fit this job very nicely. You and I will get along just fine. <laughs> I was like, I've been twitching under the table the whole time. Yeah, fair enough. Kind of... Fair enough. Yeah, no, I, uh, I definitely uh, I enjoy what I do. Uh, I've been doing it for a while. I, did, uh, I worked for our old distributor, um, uh, for several years, and I've been with uh, Mad Tree for about three and a half now, and uh, I have no plans of leaving anytime soon. Uh, luckily, I think they like me. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure they. Like I'll me. find out after the show yeah, and see ask, what they think. Just ask Mike. Yeah, I'm like good old Mike, good old Mike Stewart <laughs> will not let me wear sweatpants into any of the Mad Tree locations. We'll see about that. I got some clout now, Mike, and I have a very incriminating photo. Of I you did. I, that I, may or may not end up in this interview. I gave him my card. I'm sorry. I told. I told him he's carte blanche, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, Ferd, I think we've got some good news coming up since we do have Sam here. You guys are doing Pint Night together. Is it next week, right? That would be the 13th or it's 4 12th? I don't know how math works, right? Yeah, no, me either. I'm, I'm I believe bad. it's the, the 12th. Yeah, the 12th. Look okay. at you. You're okay. Oh, yeah. Every so often, I was like, <laughs> I don't know what days. I'm so, I've been doing so much content for Fizz Fest on the 6th that I'm like, I, I can do every. I'm basing my whole calendar off that. So, uh, you're so coming on the 12th? Yeah, August 12th. Um, so, I originally pitched it because... For those of you, for those that know me, I'm a big heavy metal fan, and yeah. we won a bunch of medals for these beers. So I told Ferdinand we should play heavy metal music. I'm in. And drink a bunch of heavy metal beers. But he said that uh, apparently Ed doesn't like heavy metal music or something. Well, I mean, what Ed doesn't hear, he can't hurt him, right? Hey, if Allegedly. He's if he's gone, I got this boom box, bro. I'm just, anyway, I'm just Here's kidding. Here's what we should do. Only if you dance around in a short <laughs> I'll do it. I will do it. Oh I my this, god! I heard this crazy rumor that you were considering moving to Hawaii to fight crime. I, dude, I will do it. I actually raised a little bit of money at the last beer fest. Uh, it went very well. I'm sixty two dollars closer to moving to Hawaii. Hey. It is a lot more expensive to move to Hawaii now. I hear so. You know, it'll take yeah. a little bit longer, but so tip them at future beer fest. That's right. <laughs> That's only when I dress like Magnum PI. Um, cool. Well, I'm gonna. Patrick's I'll try and match you for next week. But no. So as far as uh, pint night goes, what we're really doing, um, we are gonna bring in the heavy metal beers. Sans heavy metal music. It'll be fine. Ferdinand and I are still friends. Maybe we'll make a TikTok beforehand. <laughs> I'll play a bunch of metal in here. Go. I'm into it. Yeah. Hey, there you go. We'll so, be in good company. So the, the goal is, and again, I still have to talk nuts and bolts with Ferdinand, but uh, Happy Amber, legendary logger, Ziegler for sure. Happy Amber, gold medal winning uh, Ziegler Amber will be on draft by the time that this podcast come out on the main line. Perfect. Oh, cool. Perfect. Yeah, I was going to say, do you have any bargaining chips that we can uh, awkwardly do in a public setting like this? What do you want on, what do you want on tap? What do you no, want? We, now we can make demands. The cameras are rolling. <laughs> well, no, we won uh, Happy Amber gold medal winner at the Great American Beer Fest a few years back. Uh, and then Ziegler and Legendary uh, gold and silver medal winners this year at the World Beer Cup. So That's amazing. Um, no, yeah, it was go a good year for Mad Tree. But uh, we're going to have all three of those beers for sure on. Uh, I have to figure out. And then probably an IPA. Sure. Oh, no. That sounds right. Maybe pumpkin, actually, because oh, maybe none of Oh, the tropical right. psychology. It's maybe pumpkin. We just, you gotta get a nice core beer in there, man. You know. Oh wait, uh, wait. Legendary yeah, and happy. Lager is oh. kind of like and, a no, core happy, beer. happy and legendary are core beers. Yeah. Uh, no, it's fine. We're we're good. Uh, but no. At least your core beers rock. Behind the Dude. scenes, folks, this is what it looks like at the jungle. <laughs> You've been asking for this kind of content. I'm gonna keep giving it to you. But yeah, no, uh, we're we're gonna definitely have that in. Uh, so again, pint glasses while supplies last for people that come in. Uh, I'll be passing out a bunch of swag. We'll have frisbees and fanny packs. Uh, Scoozy. I don't think they're called fanny packs. Hip sacks, whatever the whatever the kids are called. We can put days. it wherever you want it. I'm an old man. Yeah. I was I was I was almost born in the 70s. Oh, I I, was. I I I was not actually. I'm I'm a product of the 80s. Uh, but yes, either way, pretty sure I was conceived in the 70s. Oh, <laughs> hey! <laughs> Shout out to Sam's parents. Brown Sam chicken, this. brown cow. Oh, the t <laughs> well, I'm looking so forward. To yeah, right. Exactly. Allegedly, <laughs> we'll, we'll ask your parents uh, who are coming into the studio right now. Meet Sam's parents. Um, no, all kidding aside, looking forward to this next week. Yeah, man, or excuse me, I say next week, but when we air, it's this Friday. So you're watching the show on a Wednesday, this Friday. Come into Jungle Gym's Fairfield, just at Fairfield, right? Yes, just okay. Fairfield. Yeah, come to Fairfield store. Eastgate does do pint nights too, just in case, but it's very hard for me to move an entire studio across the city. Uh, but yeah, definitely come in, get some swag, meet Sam. Uh, come out if you're a few minutes early. Maybe you can see Sam and I shredding some air guitar here in the studio. I will do that. And yeah. 
if you get in line early enough, I will hand you a menu myself. Oh. I'm a very magnanimous beer rep. I try. I love it, dude. You got that good <laughs> energy. Well, for, thank you as well for coming back. Is there anything else you guys want to put out there before we wrap? Uh, drink more Mad Tree. Ooh, I love it. Ferd? Uh, drink more Mad Tree. Yeah, you said it. Gyms. <laughs> yeah. Do that, especially that one. There we go. That's the twofer. All right, folks. See you on Friday. Well, hey, it's been a great episode so far, right? Like I promised you folks earlier, we've got, we're getting back to food soon. I'm doing some cooking demos. It's technically going to be the first time we've ever actually cooked on the show, and I'm hoping that it won't be the last time. I'd like that to be a recurring thing. I've got some cheese makers from Herb instead. I've got bakers, you name it. There's all kinds of food coming on the way. And if you, you know what? I, I got to bring this up. I asked a lot of people to come out and do uh, unorthodox food pairings with me. And I had a bunch of you reach out. And what's even funnier is all of you also got COVID. So um, when you all are rested and feeling better, we'll have you back to try that. But for those of you listening, if you're watching right now, podcast at junglegyms.com, reach out to me with some of your favorite food pairings. I think it should be great. So I've got one more segment, but this is the last you'll see of me. Get used to this when I have musical guests on the show. Uh, I met Claire, who's about to play for you, a little while back. I was at the Bon Bonnery. Uh, conveniently, you may remember them from the show or here at Jungle Gyms. But we met in the Bon Bonnery, and she told me she was a huge fan of the show and sent me some of her music. I was like, oh, I like what Claire's up to. So I want you to meet Claire, and I'd love her to serenade you out on this week's episode. In the meantime, I'll see you out there in the aisles.
Jungle Gyms podcast is recorded in the WJJI studio inside Jungle Gyms International Market in Fairfield, Ohio. The Jungle Gyms podcast is produced and hosted by Mark Borison.